Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. In this video, we will learn what is the rationale of the study and how to write rationale study. Let's start. First, we need to understand what is the rationale of the study. The rationale of the study is the justification for taking on a given study. It explains the reason the study was conducted or should be conducted. This means the study rationale should explain to the reader or examiner why the study is, was necessary. It is also sometimes called the purpose or justification of a study. While this is not difficult to grasp in itself, you might wonder how the rationale of the study is different from your research question or from the statement of the problem of your study, and how it fits into the rest of your thesis or research paper. How to write a rationale for a research paper. The basis for writing a research rationale is preliminary data or a clear description of an observation. If you are doing basic, theoretical research, then a literature review will help you identify gaps in current knowledge. In applied, practical research, you base your rationale on an existing issue with a certain process, for example, vaccine proof registration, or practice, for example, patient treatment that is well documented and needs to be addressed by presenting the reader with earlier evidence or observations you can and have to convince them that you are not just repeating what other people have already done or said and that your ideas are not coming out of thin air once you have explained where you are coming from you should justify the need for doing additional research this is essentially the rationale of your study finally when you have convinced the reader of the purpose of your work, you can end your introduction section with the statement of the problem of your research that contains clear aims and objectives and also briefly describes and justifies your methodological approach. When is the rationale for research written? The author can present the study rationale both before and after the research is conducted. 1. Before conducting research. The study rationale is a central component of the research proposal. It represents the plan of your work, constructed before the study is actually executed. 2. Once research has been conducted, after the study is completed, the rationale is presented in a research article or PhD dissertation to explain why you focused on this specific research question. When writing the study rationale for this purpose, the author should link the rationale of the research to the aims and outcomes of the study. What to include in the study rationale? Although every study rationale is different and discusses different specific elements of a study's method or approach, there are some elements that should be included to write a good rationale. Make sure to touch on the following. A summary of conclusions from your review of the relevant literature what is currently unknown, gaps in knowledge, inconclusive or contested results from previous studies on the same or similar topic, the necessity to improve or build on previous research, such as to improve methodology or utilize newer techniques and or technologies zero way. How do you justify the need for a research study? There are different types of limitations that you can use to justify the need for your study. In applied, practical research. The justification for investigating something is always that an existing process, practice has a problem or is not satisfactory. To identify such limitations, you can ask specific questions and let those questions guide you when you explain to the reader why your study was necessary. 1. Methodological limitations. Did earlier studies try but failed to measure, identify a specific phenomenon? Was earlier research based on incorrect conceptualizations of variables? Were earlier studies based on questionable operationalizations of key concepts? Did earlier studies use questionable or inappropriate research designs? 2. Contextual limitations. Have recent changes in the studied problem made previous studies irrelevant? Are you studying a new, particular context that previous findings do not apply to? 3. Conceptual limitations. Do previous findings only make sense within a specific framework or ideology? How long is a study rationale? In a research article bound for journal publication, your rationale should not be longer than a few sentences. No longer than one brief paragraph, a dissertation or thesis usually allows for a longer description. D. 
Depending on the length and nature of your document, this could be up to a couple of paragraphs in length. A completely novel or unconventional approach might warrant a longer and more detailed justification than an approach that slightly deviates from well established methods and approaches. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.